Then, yeah. Oh, oh, magic round. I had the worst nightmare. Cronulla got belted by the Dolphins. Woo! That, that happened. She. I got you. Oh, hit me. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Rugby League Outlaws brought to you by our good friends at Top Sport and the Stubby Club. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Dan, your nightmare is actually a reality, but Magic Round, it produced the magic. Huge plus for me. 10 out of 10 for those that aren't aware, and you yeah. should be, I was there. Very, very um, magical weekend, dare yeah. I say. Very, very good. Results did not go my way, all yours obviously, mm -hmm. but overall, mate, Everyone, every rugby league fan, if you've got the means, of course, and the time, has to do this trip yeah. once. It is as advertised, and then some. Now, during the course of the Magic Round, let's just get into it, apart yeah. from the footy and the festives, and you see all the fans meeting up and people that you know, you've never met on social media or getting together for beers and beverages and podcasts are going up there and mm. Matty Johns is going live and everything else. And now they're saying they want to move it. <sighs> What is with the NRL and taking a good thing and going, hmm, let's ruin it for everyone? I, I get you've got to, you know, if you just sit there and let everything go as it is, you've just got a brand, right? You've just yeah. got a product. But this is, this is literally your million dollar product, right? There were three days that were sold out. It's the first time it's ever happened. Now, mm -hmm. I wasn't there on Sunday because I wanted to get the hell out of Dodge after the Sharks lost terribly. Or so I'm led to believe. I can't remember. Mm. Well done. Thank you very much. But uh, for the both days, it was genuinely a sellout. There wasn't a, a spare seat in the house. It was tremendous. The atmosphere was great. Now, Brisbane is a hub, right? Yep. Now, it's a horrible little country town compared to Sydney, or like I like to say, but I didn't really want to leave. It was very good. The atmosphere, from the second you landed, it was like a party. Mm -hmm. They have brilliant hotels. They have numerous, like Caxton Street was just, it was like Mardi Gras all week. It was just, it was a party from the second we landed. You can't move it. It's just too much fun. You cannot move. Why ruin a good thing, Terry? I think, you know, there's, for mine, going objective here because it's, it's what I do, right? Please. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll go against anything you say, otherwise we don't have a show. Yeah. We've just got the NRL product, right? Good point. For mine, watching the field, and I, we, we raised this last mm -hmm. week on Outlaws. Please check it out. We're not just trying to take credit. This is actually ours. Um, the field, watching it get chopped up for three days, mm -hmm. and then seeing the rain come oh, down yeah. during the, the Roosters-Cowboys game and then just seeing how bad it was for the Gold Coast Parramatta game. Now, we had eight fantastic games of footy yep. over the weekend, right? Fair credit to Lots all the points. players. We had no major injuries that mm -hmm. we, we know of at the moment. We, we've got to get out of jail free card on that one. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I'm all for the magic round, mm -hmm. right? I'm all for the magic round and I'm all for tweaking it. Mm -hmm. And... Again, if we're going to keep it in Brisbane, or if you, it doesn't matter if you keep it in Brisbane, you're going to get the same thing if you take it to Combank, if you take it to ANZ, yeah, if you take it to Perth, if you take it anywhere, but you're playing it at one field, <laughs> you're going to get the same issues. You won't do. There can't be a game the week before, there can't be a game the week after. That's the first thing you've got to do there, just nut <laughs> that drawer out there. But you can, do, you can do something about this magic round and have the festivities. You take two games to Townsville, two games in Brisbane, two games in Redcliffe, two games on the Gold Coast. Then you can, I don't know, if you're going to bring it to New South Wales, take the four big stadiums down there. I don't know. You can, but it ruins the, the magic of yeah, it. Yeah, it does. Yeah. All the games at the one place, everyone gathers, you book the same hotel for three days. In terms of player welfare, one big injury is going to lead to what you're yep. suggesting. Now, the reason we bring this up is because everyone quickly jumped on when the, the bidding was announced, and I think they'll re-sign tomorrow for Queensland. It was just so yep. well done, and Brisbane specifically. They jumped on and said it should go to Auckland, or it should go to New Zealand as a thank you, etc., etc. Okay, well, I that's can what see, the nines are for. Yeah, I can see some romance in that, 100%, mm. and nines, very, very good point. New Zealand doesn't work for two reasons. One, it's about five degrees over there today, mm -hmm. and two, the time zone is just, it, you've got games kicking off at 10 o'clock and ending at 12, I don't know what the curfew rules are. I don't know what the RSA rules are. But I'll tell you, everyone to a man or woman went out for a drink on Caxton Street after that game. You can't do that at 12 o'clock. They don't have the hotels over there. It's got to stay in Bristol. Well, I mean, it would kick off in their time, not our time, right? So It's got to be 8 o'clock for us, though. It doesn't have to be. 
Channel 9 aren't going to say it there. <laughs> hey, yeah. You go uh, see Channel 9. Yeah, I, I, I get that. But the, the obvious, like, if you're going to move it anywhere from mine, the obvious hub is Melbourne because there's three grounds right next to each other. <laughs> Very good call. So you've got, you got Amy Park, the MCG, and probably another <laughs> AFL ground around yeah. somewhere. But they don't care about it. Nope, true. They don't, they don't care they about it. They do in Queensland. You, you, you I and producer before were saying that we hate going to Melbourne. Yeah, it's and terrible. It's, it's nothing to do with the sport or anything like that. It's just... The place. It's, it's Melbourne. You know, like, so, no, <laughs> leave it where it is, but... Don't ruin a good thing. Yeah, don't, don't ruin a good thing, but you've just got to... For mine, it's the pitch. That's yes. the only thing that I was worried about on the pitch and player welfare. Just quietly, Terry. If they have to do something in New Zealand, they can take a Super Saturday over there. Do it as a one-off, as a thank you, and that, hey, look, well-deserved. bring the nines back. Or bring the nines back. Bring the nines back. Now, Dan? Yes, Terry? You were up there for the whole weekend. Oh, that's correct. Except Sunday. Yeah. Well, I mean, you flew back on Sunday, so technically yeah, you were there for the whole weekend. Yeah, technically I was. Uh, no one wants to win the comp. No, they don't. There's two standout teams at the moment for mine. Mm -hmm. The Tigers. Yes, obviously yeah, the Tigers the are in, in career best form. Two in a row. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. Thank you. Uh, for mine, though, the Broncos, they, they had the blip. They didn't have Payne Haas. They didn't have Ezra, uh, Ezra Mam against the Rabbitohs. And obviously the Rabbitohs as well. Mm. I think they're the, the two standout teams at the moment. Oh, yeah. I, would have, I would have had Cronulla in there, you know, the capitulation. Mm. Penrith, right? Penrith is the interesting one for me because they don't concede a lot of points. Oh, they don't. Right? But you're in the game with them because they're not scoring a lot of points at the moment. That's true. But what wins premierships, Terry? Defence. They've got to. They've got to. They've got to stop. They've got to stop this obsession with Mitch Kenny. Oh yeah, they he's do. he's really really bad. But for mine at the moment, I think if, if you were to pick a favourite for mine right now, I'm saying it's South Sydney. 100 percent South Sydney. Yeah. Not even close. Yeah. Brisbane were very good. Very good on Friday night. I uh, played a you know not so good manly team, but I think South to a man mm. are the best team in competition. They don't even have their full forward pack yet, which scares me. Yeah, and then Tom Burgess like shaved his head and just became yeah. his prop. Yeah, what the hell? Yeah, unbelievable. The, the, the reverse Samson effect. The thing for mine with Brisbane is I like I like their best 17. Yep. But it's an injury to Payne Haas. It's a suspension to Payne Haas. Mm. It's external factors to Payne Haas. Like, he is literally He's, the difference between them being first right now and then if he misses, like, origin time, they're done. Yeah, oh yeah, I yeah. think they'll, they'll take that. And he's the difference between them being a top four and to a fringe, you know, bottom bottom eight team, right? Well, look, Adam Reynolds as well. Yeah. Everyone held their breath when he stayed down on Friday night. Yeah. I mean, the, the perks of Adam Reynolds in his, in the three things about him, he's always been good for his game management, his goal kicking, and his long kicking. Yeah, well, And yes. his long kicking, his goal kicking have been dreadful this year. That's true. But his game management has been absolutely unbelievable. Reese Walsh has fitted that team really well. I think they struggle with a bit of depth and number nine, like Billy Walters. Yeah, he's out of the top teams. Yeah, yeah he's, you know, and we've got Blake Braley in. That's fair enough. Well, I'm not putting Cronulla in that no, top I'm few. Not, I'm not putting there. But for mine, as you said, Souths, they're, they're for mine, head and shoulders. It's, it's who are Souths going to play in the grand final for it mine. Looks, and now, look, Brisbane are obviously... Well, the obvious ones yep. at the moment. Penrith, you can never discount. As you said, they've conceded hard I mean, if the, if the Roosters season. get their act together, they could be... Well, we've been waiting for how yeah. many weeks now? So this week... Two okay, years. So this week, going into the game, we could have finished top. Now, okay, Brisbane won. So we were like, oh, we'll win. We finished second. We didn't. Okay, if the Roosters, you beauty, Cronulla lost. If we win, we go second. They got done by a Cowboys team that we trounced last week. Mm -hmm. Like you got you got Canberra, who every second week seemed to turn up. You got the Cowboys now on a winning streak of one. They, they were the prelim last year. You got Can uh, Parramatta, rather. Yeah. They can't string three or four good games in a row. You know, Penrith, they lost. The Tigers won a couple of games. Outside of St George. Newcastle. Yeah, there's a few teams that aren't quite in the running. But from second to like 13th mm. is like one big win. And this is the thing about the Dragons that you talk about them. Producer Dids and I were talking before the game. The Dragons' last couple of losses have been a point to the Roosters mm -hmm. and then a whole heap of two-point losses and a four-point loss. Yeah. So they're, yeah, they've, been, they've been in games, it's, right? That's not a bad point, they, actually. They have been in games. It's the same as the Tigers. Mm -hmm. I think the Tigers have only been blown out once this year. Yeah. Every other time they've had a chance or been in a position to win it, like Manly. 
They could they could have been on a three game winning streak yeah. right now. That's true. Um, this is this is the, insanity. The Cowboys, if the Cowboys had lost by three points today, they were last. There you go. And then they go ahead and win against the Roosters. 20 I, th- points I to think six. they're they're sitting at the the precipice of the eight now. Yeah. Like the, this is. This the is Gold, really Gold fun. Coast Titans as well. Got the some, Dolphins. Yeah, the, yeah, my Dolphins. Your Dolphins. It, it the, the, the Titans. Yeah. One week they go and blow teams away. There was twenty minutes there where they were going to put fifty on Parramatta, and, and then, then twenty minutes where they were going to cop it. Yeah, it just this is so much fun. I love it. Tips is nightmare. Yeah. But I'm okay with that. I don't care. That, as they say, if you tips, I just want Cronulla to stop doing what they're doing. Now, Dan, you and I are talking Tom Trevojevic. We're going to cop some heat for this, and I am I love prepared. It. Yeah, prepared for this. I say bring it on. I say you can't play fullback anymore. I agree. Cooked. He is cooked. Now, I th- I'm very much on record as saying that Trell and Turbo in the centres, we win 3-0. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm thinking, is he even our best option at centre, being that Campbell Graham's playing you know, pretty well? And I was like, well, you shift into the wing. Okay, but Josh Adokar's supposedly coming back next Next week, and uh, he demanded selection early with his early season form, and of course his World Cup that he spent on the on the redemption tour after Freddie said no thanks, but no thanks last year. I don't know if he makes that side. I think they'll pick him on name alone. But as I said, I was there on Friday. There was an intercept thrown. So on Cobo turned ten meters. He burnt Turbo, and Turbo gave up. Mm. You tell me, two years ago, Turbo maybe he wouldn't catch him, but he would have made ground. He lost it quick, and he gave up. Yeah, 2021, Tom, is a, is a long time ago now. It unfortunately is. Now, he but, spent how long during the off-season? He was in America, wasn't he? For months yep. or, or multiple weeks at the very least. What's the next step? The next step for my... He's got to play centres at club level. They've, they've got to go out now. They, they've, they've got three options. They've got to, three calls they've got to make. One, their centres are terrible. You've got Brad Parker, Morgan Harper, and a guy that Rugby Union wants. So that's mm. telling you there that your centre... Centre options are written. Now, this, Not so good. This cooler, the one that rugby and you want, apparently he's going to be really good. Yeah. Right? It's quick. Quick, yeah, lightning footwork, dreadful hands. Mm-hmm. So you could bin Brad Parker and Morgan Harper and you wouldn't even know. Yeah. Put, Turbo, put a literal bin. Yeah. Mm. Put Turbo in the centres and then you make the call on Ruben Garrick. Yep. Are you our long-term fullback, yes or no? If the answer is no, he stays on the wing with Turbo as his centre, and you go out and find yourself a fullback. Mm-hmm. Completely you, fair. You try and get Metcalf back. Yeah. Tamari Martin, because Roger's going back to New Zealand. There's your easy yeah. option over there. See what Cronulla are going to do with Cade Dykes when he comes back. Plenty of options. Multiple options there. And you can't tell me that that Manly team is anywhere near the salary cap because it's really poor. You're outside of three players. I agree. Yeah. That's not a bad shout. I think Turbo to the centres, you, you've just you've got to get him more involved. Mm-hmm. That is like, I don't think I'm breaking any mm-hmm. news here, the key to success. Because that team, outside of him and Daly Cherry Evans, pretty ordinary. Very ordinary. Very ordinary. Very. It's fun to watch. <sighs> Terry? Talk to me, Dan. Time to talk some black... White and blue. Do we have to? We do. We do. It's uh, therapeutic. What went wrong? Everything. I this, mean, you were up there. I was there. What was the warm-up like? What was the attitude like? What, it, what was the feeling like before the game? So there was no warm-up because they weren't allowed to do that. Although, Nico Hines came out. The only player that I saw do this uh, and was kicking from the, about the 40 and was kicking 40-20s. He nailed three in a row. Turned to Voss. He said, you'll be OT. Here we go. Nico's on. I hate those words. Pretty much everything I positive I said last week, reverse that. Mm-hmm. That's what went wrong. The feeling was that um, Cronulla were going to win and win handsomely, I think. And when Ronaldo made that early break, the entire stadium had a buzz about it. Now, Cronulla massively outnumbered the Dolphins in terms of their fan base. Their, their bay, rather, was jam-packed. The Dolphins Bay, you couldn't tell it was a Dolphins Bay. But the Dolphins had fans everywhere. So it was... Now, when Nico Hines was announced, it was the loudest cheer of the weekend, other than the, the, the loudest non-action try. Yep. In, in that, you had Reese Walsh, you had Sean Johnson, you had you know, Nathan Cleary, you had some big-name players. Nico was the man of the hour, and he came out and didn't live up to that occasion, which you'll touch on later. I'll leave that for now. Mm-hmm. After 20 minutes, we're all looking around like, we're going to cop 50, our season's over. That's how bad it got. I actually think that the late tries brought the crowd back in, 
because the first try, zero spirit fingers, and I haven't seen that for a long time. Second one, people are up. Went to half time, thinking new beauty. They score first. From there, the crowd was dead, dead flat. The atmosphere just completely died. Then when the Dolphins scored again, then all the Dolphins fans got up and everyone got up. Oh my God, we're going to see 50. It was horrible as a Sharks fan. The atmosphere was incredible. Credit to the Dolphins. They played tremendously. Brilliant footy. But we were disgusting. Yeah, for mine, this is the worst loss since for a long time, right? Of the Fitz era. Well, I mean, I... I know, I know we got belted in the new rules of PVL ball by <laughs> yeah, Penrith, doesn't right? Doesn't count. Nothing that. But this is like the worst loss I could... Because you, you go back... You got, you got John Morris beforehand. And whilst we didn't play the best footy, we didn't play the worst footy, right? Okay, yeah. I can't remember a game where you walked out just going, well, that was a thumping. Apart yeah. from the PVL, <laughs> PVL era, Yeah, right? where one try would meant yep. to eight. Yep. You go back into Flanagan... Era, and you think like the early Shane Flanagan when he hadn't quite built his team and we went down to Melbourne thinking we're going to get a result and we lost by 40. It's, it's a long time. It, it, and it's not, it's not like we played against the Rabbitohs in the prelim last year. I was going to mention the prelim. <laughs> it's not like you played the Rabbitohs in the prelim last year where that's a team that can generally win the comp. Like this was a throw together team that everyone had in the bottom four. Yep. We were a team that everyone has in the top four. And at the beginning of this <laughs> week, people were saying, Cronulla's the form team of the competition. <laughs> They've scored the most points. Yep. We were odds on favourites, right? Jesse Bromwich got ruled out and those odds <laughs> blew out of the water. Yeah. Uh, it was a bad performance, right? It was a, it was a really bad performance. And it gets into the, the next point that we've got, but Matty Johns was talking about it. A lot of people have mentioned it since, but Cronulla's DNA is in their defence. Yeah. And that's not their issue. Well, it was. Now, I, I forgot to put the warning out before... Those that are here for some positive shark talk. Yeah, you ain't going to get it. Probably not this week, my friends. No. But uh, yeah, please continue. The defence. Fitz is known as a defensive coach. He's been the defensive coach at the Roosters. He's been the coach at Country. Mm -hmm. He's been involved in the ref arena. Oh, for years and years. For Absolutely. years, right. And then there was this whole podcast about him where the people were talking about how the culture changed with the Roosters when Craig Fitzgibbon turned up as a player. Yep. And they won the 2002 Premiership on the back of having the best defence because having players like him and Jason Kalis and um, Fletch, who they weren't outstanding, but they did the tough yep. work, right? We don't have anyone that wants to do the tough work. No, we don't. We really, really don't. Attitude, defence is attitude, mm -hmm. and right now our attitude stinks. And you, I mean, you were saying that our players were straight on Instagram having to go at the fans. Yeah, which, you know, I, I've... Okay, I understand it. I understand the frustration. We're like... Yeah, Z school, plus right? fancy pants, yeah. whatevers. We cop grief. Mm -hmm. It's very easy to ignore because it's one or two. Times out by a thousand. I, I get it. The people that, and you'll mention in a minute, that cross lines call out hammer... But we've got player, we've got people such as myself, and I, I'm I'm in a good situation, so I'm not I'm not playing the victim by any stretch. But I've dedicated a weekend to go up there. They could have spent with my kids, hundreds of dollars that I could have spent anywhere else. It was fantastic, and they put that performance in. Okay, you just because you pay money doesn't guarantee you win. It should yeah. guarantee an effort. We've been to Canberra, we've been to I, I've been to Brisbane. You're going to Manly this weekend. I may or may not. You know, we've, we went to the Dragons, the Bulldogs. So we've been to pretty much all the away games that are possible, plus the home team, mm -hmm. home games. You know, I think that gives us a bit of a right to go, geez, we played bad this week, without having, you know, certain players go, oh, well, you're this or you're that. Or, or when they win a game, go, this is for the so-called fans. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I don't want to play the line of, like, I'm a, I, I've paid my whole life to be a Sharks fan. You get paid to play football. Yeah. And if... Melbourne gave you a million, you'd, you'd go, go yeah. play there. But I kind of just did say that, just off the record and very intelligently. Um, well, it's a little bit have, frustrating. They don't have the money without the fans, the sponsors, everything else, external factors, right? Yeah, but and we're not saying they've got to win every game. Take, take the shots sure. at the fans who cross the line, but mm. you know, don't, don't sit there and turn around and go, oh, you know, one bad loss equals you know, all the, the wood ducks coming out of the woodwork now because we, you're frustrated, right? You've given up your weekend with your kids. You've gone all the way up to Brisbane to watch that, and they put in that pathetic performance. They should have beaten the Dolphins by 30. They should have. The, the, the score line should have been reversed. It's Ab Absolutely should. You have a look at our lineup and their lineup. They've got a rookie half mm -hmm. and a rookie centre who... I'm in better shape 
Yeah, it looks like that he just had a feed at Guy Mean Pub and got yep. caught up. Absolutely should have tonked that team. What we're talking about though on the 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 Instagram is Braden Hamlin Ueli came out today and screen capped a photo of someone who has said horrible things about how they ho- he hoped his knee exploded, mm. right? That's crossing the line. Smash him, yeah. Yeah, but going online and venting about a bad performance doesn't make us fair weather fans. Ooh. Makes it passionate. It's passionate. You know, you, you know you, this is why we do it. We talk about footy. You and I talk about footy every day. We do. It's, it's you know, it's, it's not, not our lives, but it's a big part of it. Yeah. And I mean, yourself. Well, what is it your outlet? My, my roommate, yourself, we met through the Sharks. So yeah. it's, it's fair to say it's pretty important. Yeah. So we, we, you know, I'm not saying we got more right than anyone else, but. You know, I saw a fair few people come out and say oh, that was the worst performance of a long time. It is. I agree. But you don't want the fans going, oh, shove that up, you this and that. Yeah. Now, Nico Hines in the presser, he, it's a maturity thing. Yeah. He sits down and says, yeah, we were terrible. We take ownership and we got to be better. Meanwhile, you got other players going out there and getting into fans for negative comments. Stay off social yeah. media when you lose. Just, oh, I should stay off social media when we lose. But let's let's cut out the nonsense for a couple of weeks and let's start winning again and earn the right to do that. Yeah. No one no Actually. one has the right to go at these guys as professional athletes who dedicate their lives to this craft. No one has the right to go at them and abuse them. 100%. But you have the right to go online and go you played like absolute trash. You got shown up by a rookie who weighs more than you and me combined. You got shown up by a rookie halfback. We have the right to go and say these things. You don't have the right to throw it back at us. Mm. All right. So that's where I'm going on there. Now, you, you mentioned Nico Hines. Yes. The worst performance I've ever seen him have yeah. in his career. Yeah. He, has, he hasn't put a, a foot wrong with us, right? No, he hasn't. For mine, this is a guy who last week destroyed the Cowboys. The week before was man in the match against the Bulldogs. The week before that was sensational against the Roosters, mm-hmm. right? And the, the two weeks before that... He absolutely lit the Warriors on fire. Yeah, he did. We just, got we just run down. you know, we just got run down. But this is a guy now. I think the pressure, the external pressure of state of origin, mm-hmm. is actually affecting him. That's fair. He looks like th- that. He looked like the he had just watched Jerome Luai drop an absolute stinker, mm-hmm. and people turn around and go, "This is Hines' chance to stake his claim for origin." Now he was at Suncorp. Yep. In a sky blue jersey. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Against the Queensland team. Yeah, and there's a lot of... And he dropped a, lot a of 1 out of 10 performance. He did. Now, okay, I'm not going to have a go at Nico because he's been... I'm not. Tremendous, but... But do we need to rein back the expectations of him to be perfect every week? Look, we do, and he, he needs more of a hand from his other half partner, which we'll touch on in a minute. The bright lights were on. There was 50,000, they said. You know, it's probably 40 by the time that game kicked off. Mm. He's used to playing between you know, 12 or 13 down Cronulla. He beat the Bulldogs in front of like 12 or 13,000. He's played in front of a huge crowd and you know, he was okay against South. I, I, don't, I don't put that against him. We were just broken. It just, it, we ran into South at the wrong time. The lights were on bright, really bright. And he, he, he disappeared. And again, I'm not bagging him. Please do not take this out of context. He's been magnificent, but you're paying him a million dollars now, not this season, but you will be. This is when you need your, your halfback. When your team's going busted, your forwards aren't going forward, you need him to do something. Mm-hmm. The problem with Cronulla is when Nico doesn't, there's no one else who does. Yeah, so. That is the bigger problem, but what you said has 100% merit. I know we'll cop grief for it, but mm. I don't care. We're not, we're not getting enough service out of Blake Braley. So he's had, what, three good games <laughs> on the trot? Yeah. But... It's back to the same, Blake. 36 metres, you know, defence was okay, but that's it. He just passes the ball. And then when we had an opportunity, when we had a little bit of momentum at the start of the second half, he threw a dreadful pass Mm. and we, you know, bounces along the ground. We catch the ball, get tackled, turn over, Doffles get on the other end, start building pressure. We don't get anywhere near enough out of Matt Moylan. No, we don't. He has to be dropped. I agree. Trindle has to play. I think last week or two weeks ago, we were very high on Moylan. Yep. Every team in the competition, you look at the... They've the, worked him out. The competitive ones, right? You look at Penrith. Okay, what's their weakness? They're number nine. Yep. Okay, that's, you know, the middle, and you got Fisher-Harris and Spencer-Lena either side. Yep. Okay, what's the South 
weakness. Oh, yeah, but uh, when I'm talking about Mitch Kenny, I'm not talking about Mitch Kenny defensively because Mitch Kenny defensively yeah. is the prototype number nine. <laughs> yep. It's it, attack. He's yep. awful. South's weakness at the moment, I don't know. Yep, nothing. Brisbane, not really. Yeah, Br- Brisbane, I, I think the only thing from them is inexperience. Yeah. Cronulla. There's lots. Matt Moyle on left edge. Yeah. Every team in the game knows it, whether you coach coaching your first game or your supposed 900th. Mm-hmm. Wasn't. It's there, and it's been attacked, and they just tore us to shreds down that side. Teague Wilton's stats this year are appalling, and I reckon you could take half of them off because of Matt he's Moyle. Defending for, he's defending for he's two and a half He's defending for there. two, and I know Talakai gets a lot of grief, and I, I sometimes jump on that bandwagon. You can see it a couple of tries against a rookie, you know, Neither center. were his fault. When you look at it, it's not, and yeah. it's, it's Matt Moylan. Okay, if you say, okay, Nico can defend on the left. Now, Nico's not a noted defender. Trindle is. You know, he's not, he's not you know, Jerome Luai in defence, but he's better. But the, the thing that Trindle brings to the team, he's quick. Yeah. He's young. He can kick past his shadow. He's enthusiastic. Mm-hmm. He's got a kicking game. He does. He's a backup goal kicker, and he puts his body on the line. Yeah. It, it's tight. Like, I know, we, I know we re-signed him, and I know Moylan turns around and said, uh, Heinz turns and said, Oh, Moylan has to be, you know, my half part. No, he doesn't, mate. If no. you want to win a premiership as a halfback, you ain't going to do it with him at six. You're not. It's unfortunate because we're massive Matt Moylan yeah. fans. And I'll continue to be. I'll yeah. cheer, him, cheer him as I will all I, the players. I would love him to be the 19th man every week. <laughs> Go and warm up with the boys. It's Go just... on the road trips because you're too good to play for Newtown and your career shouldn't end at Newtown. Exactly. Unless we're going to release you to the Super League, right? But it's now time for Trindle to step up. And it's, it's time for everyone else to step up now. Now, we've got no Hamlin Newelli. Only yeah. one forward made 100 metres this week. Yeah. It's not like... You know, we missed him big. We were, we were banging on about a prop, another prop. Mm-hmm. There's some glaring issues for this team here, and I'm glad they got exposed. It is good. I thought Tommy Hazelton played well in a short stint. Made a, made a break that led to a try. That was fantastic to see. Made a couple of good uh, defensive efforts too. I think he turned mm. the ball over once or mm. twice. Jack Williams had a 2022 Jack Williams game. It, w- it was very, very poor. Dal Finucane looked like he hadn't played football for four months, let alone whatever it was, three weeks. Cam McInnes, you know, tried his backside off. I'm not going to bag him. Talakai in attack was deadly. I thought Kennedy copped some stuff that he didn't, didn't yeah, need. Was, I thought what, he was okay. What, what do you want Will Kennedy to do in that well, situation? There? When you get through torn, 12 to get to him. When you're getting torn apart, when you and Aitken runs through Jesse Ramey and one-on-one and there's people around him and he's got hammer on the inside, what do you want Will Kennedy to do? He well, shouldn't be put in that position. It's funny, I actually forgot Ramey. And that was, he, yeah, he was Cody awful. Nicarima had his way with him, which yeah, is he was saying a lot. Awful. It was a very, very, very frustrating night. I think that Fitz has to say, okay, Moylan, shame your hamstring's no good this week, mm-hmm. and give Trindle a shot. Now, if Trindle goes out and stinks it up on Brookvale, okay, you bring, you bring you Moylan bring straight back in. Yeah. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. This team cannot beat the top sides. Mm-hmm. You and I are two of the biggest fans, but we're also realists. This side as is cannot win a premiership. A few little tweaks, I think they're right in it. Now, Vossi said something the other night that was intelligent, which is, you know, so, no. I was shocked. We've re-signed almost everyone. We had one spot, and we, we gave it to Royce Hunt. I thought we should have waited and tested, unless there's a player who's going to go, because by my count, we're at 29 with Harati, yet to be re-signed. He could be 30. Uh, yeah. With Teague I, I think No, I, I think there's a couple of spots for next year. We'll, we'll do a breakdown. Because Atkinson is in the top 30 this year, but he gets replaced by Puru. Yep. We haven't re-signed Jaden Beryl. There's Eero a, comes up. Eero comes up, yeah. We haven't re-signed Herodi. There's a few. There's a few. I, I'm, Matty spot is now open as well. I worked it out the other day. I had 28. Now, they've, I've said that people were 29 was Royce Hunt. I had him in the 28, so there's one or two. I think we need to look outside for one or two. Mm-hmm. Don't want to get into that. We'll, we'll touch that on fins up. But last week we were on such a high mm-hmm. we smashed the Cowboys and we've just everything was reversed and we copped a Cowboys performance but Terry I don't think I'm overstepping here when I say when Cronulla are behind the eight ball and we're dropping ball we yeah. can't wrestle momentum no, we can't back. Wrestle back the only tries we score were on the back of penalties and six against the other night when we're flying no one can touch us yeah. but as soon as momentum goes we go into a shell a little bit scary. I think I might have overreacted last week in saying that we were the greatest team to ever play football. I don't think you were. But if we beat Manly, it's on again. It's on again.
Dan. Talk to me, Terry. Let's bring some positivity to this episode. Top sport tips. Now, Yo, between you and I, we picked a perfect round this week. It's we did. Undisputed. Uh, I think I genuinely got seven. Yeah, we absolutely... Because I'm a terrible tipster, so this week I did really well. Yeah, we absolutely rinsed Top Sport this week. Sorry, boys. They've given us a call, said don't release your tips, but we're going to do it. We might even give some try scorers in some games, but yeah. well, probably not. I don't want to give away too much. That's true. Now, I'm tipping on the fly. I, don't, I haven't even seen the games. Oh, you know what? There's some, some really good games this week, but some of them make you turn around and go, why? Not, not why are these games, but why are these teams in the competition? Fair so. call. Let's start Thursday night. We get Thursday night for Oh, it's back. And it's a ripper. I didn't miss it. Amy Park, Melbourne Storm, Brisbane Broncos. Is it a ripper though? It is. Fair enough. Melbourne are going to get some troops back. They're going to... But they're tough to play down there. Yeah, that's true. It's going to be Cam, cold. To Cam me. Munster can't play that bad. Jerome Hughes needs a big game. Yeah, he's been now, very ordinary. Just, if it's not just for the Melbourne Storm, Jerome, please do something because you're killing me in draft here, right? Like, you're absolutely killing me. You are Dre- Jeff Robson this year. Please do something. And because of that, I'm going to pick the Storm. I'm not. I'm going to okay. Brisbane. I think they're flying. Their forward pack is just oh so mighty. Oh so mighty. It is. It's a huge... Be pack. close, though. It'll be close. It's a huge pack, but it's origin time. Mm. And it's Cam Munster time. It is Cam Munster yeah, time. Yeah, I'm going to pick Cam Munster to go absolutely mental in this one. If Fair there's enough. one thing that I think that Melbourne can get them, it's the speed of... They're outside back. Oh, they're quick, yeah. Yeah, they're very, very quick. So I think that they can get them on there. And, and, you know, Melbourne were in the game against South for a little while. They can't play that bad again. Storm by six. Brisbane by two. Uh, now, Friday night, six o'clock. This is the most Friday night six o'clock game that you can get at the moment. Canterbury Bulldogs trying to get some players back. Mm-hmm. Trying to get some form back. Trying to get some credibility back. Mm-hmm. Against the ever so sliding New Zealand Warriors. This is a fun game. This will be fun. There'll be plenty of points, I dare say. Yep. Now, the plenty Warriors... Of, plenty of bombs. The Warriors were very good for a long time. Now, I thought they were refereed out of the game. Can I say that without copping a $10,000 fine? I'll send 10 bucks. The referees really. were dreadful this weekend, but... They were very bad. We can say that. Yeah. I think the Warriors bounce back here. I think they might just win. Yeah, they, they met, they've met earlier this year. Uh, uh, the Warriors won 22 points to 12. Uh, memory serves me correctly. I'm not going to do research for the Warriors games. But they did beat the Bulldogs. I think, I think they can win. Hmm. I don't think they will win. Picking the doggies. I'm going to pick the dogs. It's 6 o'clock. It's the time slot that suits the dogs because no one wants to watch them or cares about them enough. But they'll win. They'll win this game. <laughs> I think they'll win it comfortably as well. I think I'm going to pick the dogs to win this one. Uh, we have a game on Friday night that should be and could be good, but I don't think it will be. It's the Penrith Panthers who can't score points mm-hmm. against the Sydney Roosters who have no identity. It's out at Penrith. Give me a tip. Penrith. Now, this should be, as you said, the game of the round. Mm-hmm. The season, perhaps. Mm-hmm. Not with Jeremy Manu at six. No, I don't, I don't like Manu at six. Um... You and I rewatched the game again. I don't know why, but he's a handbrake. He's a stat pattern. He's a runner. Yeah. Which is great in the centres. Yeah. Not in the halves. And Luke Keery ain't it. No. I don't know if Sam Walker is, but they need they need to bring Sam Walker. They need Walker to get back. that back. You know what they need to do? They need to have a look at their number nine and say, We need more from you. They also need to look at Swali and go, You're a do winger. We, <laughs> do we put you on the wing or do we what like what can we do with you right now? Well, I think you take center. him and you put him in rugby union. Release him. Release him. No, Release. no, I'd, I'd say that in jest, but I'm not. I, the, all the origin talk of Sue Lee has no, gone well cool. out the window. Cool. I think Penrith win. Their outside backs, Tyron Peachy, perhaps aside, are just monsters. Mm-hmm. Ryan Toto had Time a for Tommy Jenkins game. to come in. Time for Tommy Jenkins to come in. To uh, yeah, that's, I actually expected Penrith. that to happen, yeah. and I think that Cleary knows that it's origin time. Mm-hmm. I think he kicks up. Before he inevitably plays really bad in Queensland. Yeah, I, th- I think Tommy Jenkins comes. He's got to come into the team, or Jesse McLean. He's an, he's another one who absolutely with one the of Australian school eighty six try scoring freaks yeah. in New South Wales. Cup. Yeah, well, you know they, they've got they've got the talent there. I think they just put Peachy in for the stopgap. Um, yeah, fair enough. You know he can easily go back to the bench. Uh, I think they just need something a little bit different out there. Um, I'm going to pick Penrith to win this one as well. I just I don't see anything from the Roosters that says you can compete. Mm-hmm. Agreed. 
Saturday afternoon, start of your Super Saturday. Super Saturday. South Sydney Rabbitohs taking on the high flying West Tigers. Well, the form team of the competition, we everyone's got two. second favourite team, and then you got the uh, the bunnies. Mm. Yeah. I'm, hey, what are you feeling, Terry? What I'm are you gonna, tipping? I'm going to give you all the reasons why the West Tigers can win this game. Cody are you ready? Back. They can't. Bunnies by plenty. Tigers by 10. Then, 5.30, Saturday afternoon. This is exciting. Game of the round. You'll be OT? To avoid. Mm. It's the North Queensland Cowboys against the St. George of the War Dragons. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Now, the Cowboys, mm. great win. Terrible <laughs> conditions. Adapted to the conditions way better than I thought that Roosters team would. Yeah. Good win for them. Good bounce back win for Congrats them. Congrats and all that nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. The Dragons. Five game losing streak and you hate to see it. You hate to see it, but they've lost. Do you know what they've lost those five games on a combined average by? What, 40 overall, divide whatever, 10? No. 13 points over five games. They lost again by six, two, 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 and one. That's incredible. It is incredible. Now, it's not all doom and gloom, but they are just so bad. They find themselves in positions to win the game and they just fluff it like. They had a five on two. Yes, they did. Over, they, there were so many options they could. Like Suli, if he passes, it's a try. Mm -hmm. If he just runs hard, straight. Yep, it's a try. If Sloan puts it through the hands, they just made every bad. And the ball was so crap out of dummy half. Ben Hunt kicked it. Yeah, through. it was an accidental. They can find a way to lose though. This Dragons and team. It's hilarious. It's admirable. Yes. Yeah, the, I think they're going to find a way to lose this time. I think you know how Terry. They're going to turn up. Yeah, I think they're going to find a way to lose. They're going to get absolutely belted in this game. I hope not, because they don't really like the Cowboys. I don't like the Cowboys either, but they can belt the Dragons. Yeah, look, I think 1-17, to they're very, very good. What did you make, just very, very quickly, of the Ben Hunt at 9? Uh, you know what? I haven't made much of Ben Hunt this year. I think he's been absolutely dreadful. He was pushing Nico Hines last year. For the Dalian. For yeah. the Dalian. This year, he's pushing shit up a hill with that. Absolutely awful team. And I think he's... He, like, if you had to pick an Australian team on merit at the moment, he's not in the 14. Nope. And if you had to pick a Queensland team at the moment, I don't think I he's form. in the 14. No, he will be there. But, he uh, will be there, but he's he's terrible. They put him at nine, nothing changed. Moses Umbai looked better than him. Sullivan looked very good when he came off the bench. I think he has to start in the halves. And for that reason, I think they'll get close, but no cigar. I think they'll get clobbered here. I could see the Cowboys putting on an absolute score. And for the Cowboys, that's about 10 points. So it'd be 10 nil. Saturday night, this is worth staying up for. Down in the nation's capital, Canberra Raiders against the Parramatta Eels. Yeah, it'll be OT. This the Ricky is, Stewart revenge game. This is going to be fun. Can we still call it that? I'm going to call it no, that. We can, we can call it whatever you want. This is going to be fun. Yes. The Raiders, they've hit a purple patch. They do. A form at the moment. Uh, the Which Eels, Moses is out. Yeah. He's, he's going to Cat be one, 11 days, he'll miss the game. Not confirmed yet, but we're calling an order. Yeah, we're calling. He, he was taken off the field. He looked, was down. Looked bad. I hope he's all right. But Dylan Brown, he one of the performances spiders. of the weekend. Yeah, spiders on him there. But no Moses, no party for mine. I'm going to pick, you know, they didn't have enough to get over the Gold Coast Titans. They're not going to have enough to get over this Raiders team. The Raiders are starting to get scary. They are, and you know what suits Raiders? Adversity. Yeah, and six or seven degrees on a cold Saturday night mm -hmm. where every tackle hurts. they got some big boys. I think they win and win handsomely. Yeah, they're going to win this game. It's going to be a good one to watch. Now, this game will be fun, Dan. Start of your Sunday afternoon, 2 o'clock, up at McDonald Jones Stadium. Oh, Newcastle are back. The Newcastle Knights. From Bali. Missed out on Magic Round. They're, they're going to be angry. They come up against your Gold Coast Titans, who had a really, really nice win up there. I don't know what this was. Wasn't it girl. nice that all the Queensland teams won a Magic Round just quietly? No. No, no. It was absolutely terrible. Uh, give me your thoughts on this game here. Titans by plenty. I'm going to go opposite. I'm gonna, I've got a feeling about Newcastle. They've been bashed in the media. They've been bashed mm. by Phil Gould. Mm -hmm. They've been bashed in their last couple of games. Mm -hmm. Caelan Pong is going to need to make a stance because his origin spot's on the line. Missed 10 tackles, made 13 the other yeah. week, but go on. Lockie Miller. <laughs> he's going to need to keep his spot in the team and you've got a lot of those Newcastle players who have played Origin that didn't deserve to mm -hmm. 
but they're going to want their spots back. Mm -hmm. I want to pick Newcastle in this big crowd up there. They reckon they've sold about 25,000 tickets so far. That's impressive. Shout out to the Newcastle fans. Yeah, shout out to them. They're, they're, you, know, you can't call Newcastle fans fair weather. You cannot. Uh, I I'm, think that, I'm going to pick the Knights. I'm going to use the A word. This is going to be an ambush. The Titans by heaps. <laughs> you have to pick them though. Mm -hmm. And to ruin Mother's Day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> four o'clock, out at Four Pines in Brookvale. The Manly Warringah Seagulls taking on the Cronulla Sharks. Now, Cronulla broke the four-year hoodoo last year. We went out there and we beat them. Mm -hmm. I think we can do it again. We can't play that bad two weeks Well, ago. I thought we were going to beat the Dolphins. I'm cautious here because if there's one hoodoo that's worse than the Suncourt one, it's this one. It's good to get it out of the way, though, because like we can call it the hoodoo double. Yep. We have to beat Manly. Mm -hmm. We have to beat Manly. We they're, they're have free, to beat Manly. They're in a free fall down the ladder. Yes, they are. They are going we have real to keep that. bad. We have to keep that down there. Can't give Cherry Evans the a, a sniff at Ooh, all here. No, we no, have no. to start well. Yes. Our forwards have to stand up. They have to look like they want to play. Yeah, well, as you said last year, we ended the hoodoo and we, we spanked them twice. And it was like, the means have been made. We need to see that again. Whether we will, I don't know. I take a 1 0 win. I don't care at this stage. But I'm tipping Cronulla with very little confidence. I just think they can't play that badly again. That's please. They please. can't play that bad. Nico Hines can't play that bad again. Blake Braley will know that he has to get more involved. He's gonna love if Matt Moylan's in the team, he knows he's going to have to give us a bit more. Ronaldo. Ramian, Ronaldo as well, yeah. I, Williams. I'm almost at the point now where. I think Royce Hunt is better off the bench for us. Start yeah. Hazleton. Absolutely agreed. Big, big ball, Tom. Start Hazleton, and I loved the late switch of putting Fanukin back on the bench because he hasn't given us much. Nope. And Cam McInnes gives us everything. I'm going to pick Cronulla in this one. 13 plus. Mm -hmm. Hear me out. I'm fing mental. <laughs> Well, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Rugby League Outlaws brought to you by our good friends at Top Sport and the Stubby Club. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Get on there, get your merchandise, do whatever you need to do. Like it, you know, like, follow us, trash us where you can, give comments, us all the comments. Lots of comments. We, are, we love going through it every week. What else we love? Dan? Dan. Dan. Mm. Dan. Mm. Yeah.